Well, let's continue with the corporate conversations then. The next company on our radar is Garden Reach Ship Builders. The stock has surged more than 100% this year so far. The company has reported a strong set of numbers for the first quarter. Revenue growth uh, sort of has been quite robust. Margins, of course, dipped a little bit in Q1 because of the high cost of materials. So to talk about the business outlook going forward, we have uh, with us uh, PR Hari, Chairman and MD at Garden Reach Ship Builders. Uh, Mr. Hari, thank you so much for joining in. Great to have you on, sir. So I'll start with uh, you know the guidance that you've spelled out, and it's it's sort of 25% uh, growth. I think that's what you're expecting this year. Uh, let me just quickly rewind back and check the order book. I think as of June, you told us that your order book was just above 25,000 crores, 25,200. So tell us now, we're in the second quarter. How aggressive is the bid pipeline? Uh, how much will you grow this order book by? And are you still confident of delivering 25% revenue growth? Morning, uh, Sarvi. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, our order book currently stands at uh, 25,231 crores. And 90% uh, of this order book comprises of uh, shipbuilding orders. That is our main business vertical. And balance 10%, uh, around 10% come from uh, other verticals like uh, marine diesel engines, ship repairs, uh, and so on. Now, uh, when we started the financial year, our order book was 22,600, approximately 22,600 crores. And the order book was actually increased. Now, this order book, I'm just coming to the shipbuilding segment. This order book uh, of shipbuilding comprises of uh, 29 platforms for 10 projects. Four of these projects are being executed for the Navy. And the balance six projects include three export orders, including for a commercial uh, order that we got from a German client. Now, this is the current order book. In the next three to six months, uh, we are in the negotiation stage for concluding another four contracts for 20 platforms. Uh, this is the short-term future that I'm indicating. Now, we also bid for the next generation COVID uh, project for the Indian Navy. This is a very, very high value order. The total order value is the HG project and the AO in itself is around 36,000 crores. And we expect the, the bid results to be declared in another four months. In addition to that, the Navy is also expected to come out in the next one year, RFPs for two multi-purpose vessels. And the Coast Guard is likely to come up with an RFP for six uh, next-generation ocean-going petrol vessels. Mm -hmm. So I've just given you an overview of the, our current order book and also what is likely to be in the immediate future. Right. Uh, got that. Um, Mr. Hari, hi. Good morning. Uh, Prashant here. There's a lot, there's a lot of uh, things to get our head around. So uh, just let's just uh, take it one by one. When you say platforms uh, for our viewers, you mean... You essentially mean uh, ships, vessels? Yes, absolutely correct, uh, ships. When I said oh. uh, we are building four platforms for our German clients, that means four multi-purpose vessels for a German okay. client. And similarly, okay. we are, to answer your question, yes, platforms means uh, ships. Okay, because you I mean you do uh, I mean, frigate, frigates and uh, ships, I mean, all kinds of things, right? Uh, yes. So just So just a quick thing. So you're saying in the next three to six months, uh, you were close to concluding orders. Uh, worth worth how much? What is the size? Uh, the size is approximately between 1,500 to 2,000 crores. Uh, the, okay. The contract negotiations are currently in progress. We have been declared L1. And we expect a conservative time of three to six months for conclusion of these contracts. These include okay. an export order also. Got it. 1,000 to 1,500 crores in the next three to six months. Uh, between 1,500 to 2,000 crores. The negotiations and, are currently in progress. Okay, the big one, the bigger one is going to be that Corvette uh, negotiations with Navy, right? Which you said in totality is about 36,000 crores. It's an eight ship project. In totality, okay. it's around 36,000, it will be 36,000 plus crores. And okay. this order will be split between two shipyards, with the L1 shipyard getting five ships and the second shipyard getting three ships. So we stand a good chance of getting this order, considering our experience and expertise in uh, building Corvettes. So six and two, six and uh, two, five and three, five and three. Okay, but so you will get some, you will get something, right? Uh, that's, what, that, that's what we are expecting. I mean, you could get five or you could get three, but you are assured of. We will, be, uh, we will definitely, we will definitely be targeting five. That, okay, and a, this is kind of this will conclude this year in FI twenty five. Uh, see, uh, in a, a normal uh, order processing uh, stage, 
from the time the L1 is declared, then the contract negotiations happen. So we, I don't expect the order to be, the contract to be signed during the current financial year, maybe in the first quarter of the next financial year. But sir, sir just to complete this uh, order book picture, uh, how much of the order book is naval right now as a percentage? And uh, now that this big contract is coming up, I mean, uh, realistically speaking, how will that number move? Just trying to understand. And then you're doing ocean-going vessels and <coughs> platforms, for instance, for this German uh, entity. So just want to get the order book mix between uh, naval, non-naval, uh, and some of the export orders to understand where you get better margins. I'm get guessing some of the export orders uh, fetch you bet better margins? See, uh, I'll just give the breakup, approximate breakup now. Uh, as I mentioned, our total order book, around 90% of the total, total order book comes from uh, shipbuilding. Of this 90%, if you just take uh, the shipbuilding orders, around 85 to 90% still come from uh, Indian domestic warship building orders. That is our primary focus. I'll just give you from a different perspective. Now, you see a commercial ship of 10,000 ton, let us say, displacement, and a warship of 1,500 ton displacement. The order value for the 1,500 ton displacement warship is going to be at least four to five times more than a commercial vessel. But commercial vessels, definitely the margins are more, and the number of commercial vessels, the platforms are likely to be more. So it's a balance between both. To answer your question, around 85 to 90 percent of our shipbuilding order book is comprising of domestic warship building orders. That is both from the Navy and the Coast Guard. Currently, and is that likely to sustain, sir? Is that likely to sustain at that high level? Absolutely. In the next, let's Absolutely. say, next one to two years, we, we shouldn't expect a change in the mix, right? No, no, we don't expect a okay. change in the mix. Uh, maybe I would even take it further. Why next one or two years? I will take it to the next five to ten years. The same ratio is likely to maintain. Okay. All right. Uh, hi, Mr. Hari. Uh, good morning. Let's get a couple of numbers out of the way. Last year, you did around 3,600 crores. So this year, you end at around 4,500 crores. Would that be a fair estimate? And also, uh, you know, I wanted to reconfirm that because you've had such a strong start to the year. And what is the margin we should work with? Uh, thank you, Nigel. Uh, pleasure interacting with you again. Yes, I had mentioned uh, that we'll be maintaining a CGR of around 25%. We're very confident of maintaining a similar growth. Uh, in effect, uh, what you're telling is correct, plus uh, whatever figure you mentioned, uh, plus correct. that figure we'll be able to achieve. As far as the margins are concerned, uh, as what Suravi brought out, there has been a slight dip in our margins, but uh, we are very confident of uh, maintaining margins that we had, uh, bad margins, what we had indicated earlier, plus 8% uh, in the coming uh, quarters and years. All right. So, path margins would be at 8%. Got it. Uh, Mr. Hari, also, if you could tell us what is the current utilization levels. I recall you telling us that the shipbuilding capacity was around 20 warships and you were looking to increase it to around 24. Has that happened? And what about the capex that you'll be incurring for this year? Thank you. Very interesting question. Yes, I wanted to make a statement that our shipbuilding capacity was uh, 20 ships. But considering the current order book and the expanding uh, number of uh, platforms that we are going to execute, we have invested, uh, we have done capital infusion and enhanced this capacity to concurrent construction of 24 ships. As of now, our current cap construction capacity is for 24 ships. What we also done is segregated the ship repair operations uh, out of our uh, physical premises. We have taken a facility outside our premises and we are doing a complete ship repair operations from that facility. In addition, uh, when, if we get more orders, we also adopted and successfully adopted a strategy of uh, public-private partnership where we utilize the spare capacity of capable shipyards to undertake uh, uh, construction of ships. As far as capital infusion, yes, we have been steadily pumping in the capital. We had undertaken a massive uh, infrastructure augmentation during the mid-2015, uh, 2000-2020 uh, period. After that, uh, every year we infuse capital in a strategic manner, which means basically to revitalize the facilities, procure new equipment, new technology equipment. So steady capital infusion is happening, and current capacity stands at 24 ships, eight large and 16 small and medium ships. Mm. Right, and this will stay at 24 after the expansion, Mr. Hari, right? I mean, this is, uh, no, you're not expanding. No, no, yeah. no, oh, no. Uh, again, an interesting question. Uh, what we felt was we will go in a in a phased manner. Uh, we have also uh, taken 
a facility or a strategic uh, partnership on the West Coast, which currently is not utilized yet. So what I mean to say is that 24 ships within our premises, uh, ship repair facility completely segregated, uh, public-private partnership both on the West and East Coast. And we intend increasing this capacity in the next three years to concurrent construction of 26 ships. That is captive facility. In the next three years to 26 ships? Yes. That is uh, within our uh, affirmative. Got that. Uh, just two other brief questions uh, on the revenue thing, just to stretch that time horizon a little further. I think you had indicated uh, you intend to get to 10,000 crores in revenues by 528. I mean, it's a, little, it's a, it's a slightly uh, away target, but you, you're, uh, you, have, you, you will have visibility for that? Are you sticking with that as well? I would like to make a very slight correction. Uh, what we had mentioned was to touch uh, 10,000 by 2030. That is our stated mission, to touch a revenue okay. crossing 2030. And uh, okay. if you just see our current order book, the current order book, including the small orders that are on the annual, uh, I mentioned about 1,005 to 2,000, they all will get exhausted by 2029. And if you get the next generation Corvette order and a couple of big orders that are coming from the Navy, we will definitely be able to cross 10,000 uh, threshold by 2030. Okay. All Very right. Fair got that. And, uh, uh, you know, you've also started, uh, uh, you got into weapons manufacturing. Is that, is that, uh, how do you see prospects for that? Or do you think it'll largely be shipbuilding and ship repair? Or, or is it a fast growing segment? See, uh, we, yes, it's true that uh, we have got into manufacturing of uh, weapons. Uh, this is a segment that we see opportunities. Uh, adequate opportunities in the future. But our primary focus, I repeat, will remain on domestic warship building with ship repair as a subsidiary segment. Uh, considering that uh, weapon manufacturing is an attractive area where the returns are likely to be high, we will provide adequate impetus on this area also. We, ex we expect uh, more orders on this segment in the coming years. All right, okay. uh, we'll leave it there. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Hari, for joining us. And, uh, uh, you know, it's always uh, great speaking with you. Thank you very much uh, for uh, being here on CNBC TV 18. Markets down. Markets down about 35 points now. Uh, and uh, we're at about 24,980 uh, at uh, this point in time. I mean, Garden Reach is up about a half a percent, but it's come off from its highs of about 27, 2800 to uh, the 1700 levels where it is uh, trading, 1800 nearly, where it is trading uh, at uh, this point in time. You know, we'll take a quick commercial uh, break here uh, and uh, we'll come.